Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Krishna Marandi. And uh, in this video I'm going to talk about the reasons that why are you not improving in English? Why are you stuck at the same level in English? Well, there could be several reasons that why are you stuck at the same level in English? Why are you not improving in English? The number one reason that I believe that you might not be practicing effectively, right? When you're not practicing effectively, how could you improve in English? You won't be able to improve in English, right? What I mean to say is that you're not learning good words, or even if you, you know words, but you're not able to use them, right? So that could be one of the reasons that why you're not improving and why are you stuck at the same level in English? Number two, you have not immersed yourself in this language. Yes, of course. You have not immersed yourself in this language. Well, actually, you know, there are so many things. There are cultural references. There are some jokes which you might not understand. But if you, if you immerse yourself into this language, then I guarantee you, I assure you that you would understand everything in English. Number three, that why are you stuck at the same level? And why are you not improving in English? Look, I believe environment is the most important factor for a language learner to master the language. The reason some language learners are not improving and why they are stuck at the same level in English is just because they don't have a perfect environment, a practicing environment, an environment for practice, that language, right? So when you practice in an environment where people are practicing 24 hours, and uh, I believe that you would be, you know, you would gradually improve the language. It would be very easy for you to improve and, and, and master the language. So talk with people, practice, practice effectively. What I mean to say effectively is that use words in your speech. Just think of it. Today you learn a few words in English, start using them. Only then you can improve in English. Only then you can, you know, master this language. There might be more than one lakh words in English dictionary. I might be wrong. I might be incorrect. Correct me for that if I'm mistaken. But I know there might be more than one lakh words in English dictionary. Not every person can know all the words. It's, it's, it's impossible. In a language, not a single person knows all the words of a dictionary. It's impossible, right? So you got to learn good words, use them, and practice them in your speech. Add them, okay? And environment is really important. And also, consume English material. Listen to English songs, watch movies or documentaries, listen to podcasts, audiobooks. There's a lot of things that you can do. And the last important thing that I would mention here is that, like, practice every single day consistently. Consistency is required. If you're practicing uh, two or three days for two or three days and then you're not practicing after that, then I, I cannot assure you that you would, you would be able to master the language because it would definitely take more than, you know, it would take lots of time. I know that mastering a language takes a lot of time and efforts, but I can assure you that you would definitely master this language. It would be easy for you. The only thing that you have to do is to surround yourself in that environment uh, and, and practice every single day. Practice effectively with, with your co-learners, with, uh, with people, with strangers. You can learn or else you can teach. You can teach somebody. Teach someone English. It could also be helpful because when you're teaching a person or, or a student or anybody that language, it would also be helpful, helpful for you because you're learning at the same time, right? So you can do lots of things. Just, just do this all. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you really like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to share and put your comments in the down below. If you have any questions, please write your comments. Write your questions in the down below. Thank you for watching. We'll meet again in the next video. Bye-bye.